I actually introduced <laughs> No ID to Jay Z. Mm. Like I took him with me to that session when I was doing Fallen. I took No ID with me. Wow. He didn't. They didn't even know each other. Wow. And 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 No ID was in the corner while I was making that beat. He was in the corner with his headphones on making another beat. And Ho was like, "What? What you got?" And he was asking everybody around. It was a bunch of producers in the studio. He was like, "What you got?" And I was like, he got some shit. I'm telling you, watch. <laughs> he plugged that shit up, and they, next thing you know, they done made a whole album together. I mean, still, you know, yeah. no ID's my, yeah. you know, he heard Kanye say this, so he definitely knew who he was, but this was the first time that they actually got a chance to, like, really connect like that. Yeah, people forget that run where he did those records, you and Bow Wow and yeah. those smashes. I mean, he said he came here specifically. That's why I say people don't come here to just get, like, what they already been doing. They come here to try to step out into a life yeah. that they haven't had it's Bryce davis on the check-in and we got jermaine dupre on the rap radar podcast with b dot and elliot wilson and jd explains how he introduced producer no id to jay-z and you know he put together jay-z's last album four for four back in 2017 i wasn't a big fan of the album i mean i'm not gonna say i rate it though because i only listened to it one time and i didn't give it a good listen like that was it really dissecting the lyrics and the breakdowns and things like that so you know i'm not gonna rate it i'm a huge jay-z fan you know since reasonable doubt that's actually my favorite mm, top top three it always switches up on my favorite albums and you know what i'm saying i'll definitely be listening to his albums multiple times but this is the only one i just gave that one check for and i was like eh. you know it's a little grown up it's mature music i mean jay's over 50 years old so you know we can kind of expect that but i ain't gonna lie i kind of like braggadocious jay i kind of like the i got more money than you jay because that's the type of stuff that motivates me i know y'all hate it i love it but you know the each is on but uh hopefully I'll get new music in the future something soon because it's been almost what five six years since we got a jay-z album and hopefully starts working with other producers you know i'm not real familiar with no id's work i know he produced all around the world with kanye on you know jay-z's blueprint 2 album but you know I, I would like to see him with some other producers just to hear you know them bring something different out i mean Nas is still doing it he's almost 50 himself and you know he's been dropping the kod series one through three one being my favorite, but I actually like Magic better. That's just my personal taste. But I do think KOD One's a better album, but Magic got to be my favorite album that he's put out, you know, in the last couple of years. But, you know, hopefully get some new music, like I said before. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 